fun fact. Amazon boss Jeff Bezos could give 100,000 US dollars to every single one of the million people his company employs and still be richer than he was when the pandemic began. It's no secret that people like him and Elon Musk have made an absolute killing out of the coronavirus. And even before the pandemic hit, economic inequality was already spiraling out of control. The richest 1% have more wealth than 6.9 billion people put together. Last time the world had a big economic meltdown, back in 2008, governments around the world basically made ordinary folks pay for it by cutting back the services those most in need rely on, like health, education, childcare, transport, and support for domestic violence survivors. At the very same time, they handed huge bailouts to banks and multinational corporations. This time round, people everywhere are demanding that the recovery is paid for by those who can actually afford it. And despite the chaos we're all living through, there's no shortage of bajillionaires and fat cat corporations who could easily pitch in more. That's why NGOs, unions, women's groups, and people everywhere who care about the less well-off are calling for wealth taxes to help pay for the recovery. You've probably heard of property taxes, right? That's a tax people pay on the value of any real estate they own. A wealth tax is much the same idea, but is applied to all their assets, including things like bank deposits, shares in companies, artworks, private funds, and trusts. And before anyone's head starts spinning, wealth taxes are generally designed to take only a tiny percentage of the assets people hold. And they're only applied to people who have way more than they need. For example, a commission that looked into wealth taxes in the UK proposed a 1% wealth tax for households with over £1.2 million in assets. That could raise £260 billion over five years. In the US, a 5% tax on the richest 5% of households could raise US$2 trillion. These kinds of taxes can go a long way in helping to reduce gender and racial inequalities because well, women and girls, people from minority ethnic groups, folks with disabilities tend not to be the ones with big asset portfolios. At the moment, the super rich apparently dodge about 30% of what they should be paying in taxes. So wealth taxes are just a way to recover what they should be paying anyway. And in most countries, Income is taxed at a higher rate than wealth, so normal working people like us have to pay out a bigger proportion of what we have than folks who have bajillions sitting in the bank. But that's just not fair. Of course, some rich people will do everything they can to resist screaming and shouting about how the sky will fall in if they have to pay a wealth tax. Well, you know what? The sky is already falling in, and fairer taxes is the obvious way to help make things better. And rest assured, fat cats, you'll still be mind-blowingly loaded even after you've made a little contribution to the world we share.